The criminals don't give a damn about gun laws. They don't care about gun laws. I keep getting a lot of calls and a lot of tweets from people looking for commentary on this issue. I think it's because of my experience um, in law enforcement at the federal level, at the local level. You know, they want comments for pieces of writing or some commentary they're doing, and they ask me about my opinion about a, another new gun law. You fill in the blank. Uh, age limits, whatever it may be, new restrictions, um, new additions to the background checks. Folks, listen, I, obviously I'm all about solutions here to this problem we've had with criminality and violence in our society. But criminals don't care about gun laws. They don't care. Let me explain to you how this works, okay, from my experience in law enforcement and having done commentary forever here on this issue, okay? There are two parallel tracks, one track here, another track there. Here's track one, right? This is the legal firearm ownership track where people like you and I get uh, firearms. You go in, you fill out a 4473, you do your quick background check and NICS, you may have a waiting period, you may not. Florida, where I live, if you have a uh, concealed carry permit, you can uh, leave right away. If not, you have to wait seven days. That's our track. That's normal, reasonable people. That's what we do. That's where the law applies, okay? Then there's another track. The other track is, I, I don't know how to call it, the middle finger track? Uh, this is a family-friendly show, so I won't actually give the camera the middle finger. But the middle finger track is basically what criminals do. They give us all the middle finger, and they go out in the black market, and they buy their Saturday night specials on the street. They don't care about gun laws at all. Do you actually think when he gets his gun from, uh, whatever, Tommy two times on the corner, that he's filling out a 4473 or she, this criminal? The, of course not. They live and thrive off violence. Violence is the way they enforce their monopoly over the local drug market, the local robbery trade. Whatever they're doing, it's not legal. And the way they ply their trade and enforce the, their law, which is not legal, which is their criminal law and their street law, is they use violence to intimidate. They go and get their firearms anywhere they want. They don't fill out any paperwork. They don't care. Matter of fact, when I was a cop and I'd ask criminals about how they got their guns, they would openly laugh at the question. What do you mean how did I get the guy? I bought it off the corner. Like everyone else who commits crime, I deal with gets it. What are you talking about? They have no problem whatsoever getting their hands on guns. None. The reason I bring this up is because when you call me, and not you specifically, but the people who do call me and ask me for commentary on some new proposed gun regulation, I tell them, how do you think that's going to stop the criminals? It's not going to affect them at all. Again, let me do the visual for you. Good guys here, fill out form, abide by law, obtain firearm. Let's do the bad guy track. Bad guys here, no form, give everybody the middle finger, go get your gun on the street. Nobody really cares. What They don't care at all. Now, What's fascinating about this far-left liberal push for more gun control is the gun control measures they have now don't work at all. Some of the highest crime areas are in areas with heavy-duty gun control.